I would like to talk a little bit about lighting and color, especially underwater. Now, above water, it's fairly easy with a little bit of experience, but underwater, it is a completely different story. Because the deeper you go, the more color you lose. And the biggest problem of all, you don't lose all colors at the same rate. So over the last years, we've been trying um, to figure out the right setup. And now, at least to my uh, opinion, there is um, a little bit of a game changer, a completely new concept that we've been able to test over the last weeks. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So we first of all have to realize that we have to do a proper white balance in the water while diving. And in the water, you even have to do that again and again because the white balance will be different uh, the deeper you go. Keldan, who are a pioneer in underwater lighting, they came up with a very interesting uh, new concept. And that concept is based on two things. The first thing is a filter, a red filter, that you screw on your lens. And this filter will bring back um, mostly red and uh, the color that you've been losing. You even have different filter for different depth if you want to get it 100% right. And if you have a look here, this is a typical picture straight out of the camera. If you do not have anything, you don't have light and you don't have a red filter, you have nothing. It looks quite okay because that's the same picture that you would see with your own eyes, but actually there is no color. If you look at the sharks, if you look at the fish, they're all a little bit bluish and now, if you would put the filter on, you will see that the picture immediately looks very natural. Of course, you have to make sure that you do a proper white balance on that depth, on the ambient light. You use a white slate or whatever and do a proper manual white balance and you will see how that changes. This already looks perfect, like an aquarium. Now, you would say, what do I need lights for at all if the picture already looks that nice? This is a very easy wide angle scene where the objects are already a little bit far off the cameras. So if you would have lights here, it wouldn't really affect the scene. But if you go somewhere else where you definitely need light, a very extreme situation, for example, is under this rock. Without any lights, it will look like this. You see that there's a lot of parts in the picture where you don't see any detail, any structure. And if you turn the lights on here, you will see that the light is adding more detail. But you also notice that it's very reddish because there is a completely different color temperature on the light that you're bringing down, which is white light, than the ambient light that you calibrated your white balance on. And that is the biggest problem. Light doesn't only light up the scene, what it's supposed to do, but it is responsible more or less for bringing color in the picture. And that is the challenge. How can we manage, for example, in this case, under the rock, to get perfect color even in the background where you can see the sun coming in, but also in the foreground. And that's where the second part comes in of that whole concept. If you look at the dive light we're using, this is just uh, an LED light with about 10,000 lumen. This is the X8 from Keldan. Um, it is white light that is coming out. This light is responsible for lighting up the scene and also giving color because it has a different color uh, temperature than the ambient light. And therefore, Keldan invented a filter system. It's a filter, looks like this, that you can easily snap on the light and it will give you the same color temperature than the ambient light. This, for example, is a filter for 10 meters of depth. You also have filters for 5 meters and 20 meters. I've been using the 10 meters for nearly every situation. And as long as you do your white balance correct, um, that works perfect. And I would like to show you that. If we go back to the same scene with the sharks, and we have it like we saw it before, already good color. But then you notice that you don't really see that the light is affecting anything. But look closely. If you see the shark coming towards me in this situation, you will notice there is a little bit of a shadow from his fin um, on the side of his belly. And that's what it's all about. You wouldn't see that. You wouldn't get the detail. You wouldn't get the nice white belly, especially if you have a little bit of a backlight. Then everything would be more or less dark and flat. If you use the light and 
you have the possibility to light up these parts, then I would say you will get a perfect and very appealing picture with very natural color. And in comparison, without the ambient filter on the lights, the sharks will have a red belly. So now let's go for some challenge. Let's go shoot something in very challenging uh, conditions. Let's go out to uh, the Mexican Pacific, to the Socorro Islands, uh, filming giant Pacific manta rays coming in in a little bit of murky water, in very deep, like 30 meters, 90 feet, um, to get used to the new setting and to get familiar with that very important conclusion. The camera and the filter is making the color and the light is just lighting up the scene. Have fun. Thank you.